Asmanyo Sharanya Kara Radha Krishna Padara Vinda Bhajana Nandhinna Matalika Radha Krishna Padara Vinda Bhajana Nandhinna Matalika Vande Rupa Sanatana Raghutyago Shri Jiva Gopala Go Vande Rupa Sanatana Raghutyago Shri Jiva Gopala Go We're going through the nectar of instruction. Sri Upadesha Amrita by Srila Rupa Goswami. We're on text number five. Krishna Tiyasya Giritam Manasadriyeta Dikshasti Chet Pranati Bischa Bajanta Misham Sushrushraya Pajana Vigyana Nanya Manya Nindati Sinyam Ridam Ipsita Sangalabhya One should mentally honour the devotee who chants the holy name of Lord Krishna. One should offer humble obeisances to the devotee who has undergone spiritual initiation, diksha, and is engaged in worshipping the deity. And one should associate with and faithfully serve that pure devotee who is advanced in undeviated devotional service and whose heart is completely devoid of the propensity to criticize others. <laughs> भगवान कृष्ण दिव्य नाम कीर्तन करें ताकि मन मन आदर करा उचित एवं जिन्हें दिक्कत है श्री विद्रोह सेवाए रत आज हैं तार उद्देश्य सौसर्व प्रणाम निवेदन करा उचित आज ये सुख भक्त निरंतर भगवत भजन मुक्त उन्नत जाग हृदय उन्ने निंदा के प्रति संपूर्ण मुक्त आज संग करा उचित एवं तार अनुगत हमें तार सेवा करा Reading from the purport, Srila Prabhupada has written, The process by which a devotee becomes attached to Krishna is described in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Ancha Lila, chapter 4, verse 192. Diksha Kale Bhakta Kari Atma Samarpana Se Kaili Krishna Tare Kari Atma Sara Sama. At the time of initiation, when a devotee fully surrenders to the service of Lord Krishna, to the service of the Lord, Krishna accepts him as good as he himself. <laughs> So the, this uh, verse is quoted in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Lord Chaitanya is giving instruction at this point in the Chaitanya Charitamrita. Lord Chaitanya is instructing Haridas Thakur and Sanatana Goswami in Jagannath Puri. So, 
श्री नवरिदास ठाकुर एवं सनातन गोस्वामी के उपदेश प्रदान करते हैं Sanatana Goswami had uh, traveled through the jungle and through many different forests and he'd been drinking water which was not very clean or very pure. So when he got to Jagannath Puri, his body was all diseased. He had many sores which were oozing some uh, poison, f poisonous fluids. And when Lord Chaitanya would come there, he would come every day to see Sanatan and Haridas because they could not go in the temple of Lord Jagannath because Haridas was born in a Mohammedan family and Sanatan Goswami, although he was born in a Brahmana family, he'd become a Mohammedan by associating with Mohammedans. <laughs> Of course, later on, Sanatan Goswami met Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and then he renounced everything and he come to visit Lord Chaitanya in Jagannath Puri. Of course, initially Sanatan, he met Lord Chaitanya at Benares and then he'd gone to Vrindavan. And then from Vrindavan he'd come to visit Lord Chaitanya in Jagannath Puri. <laughs> So he came to Jagannath Puri, his body was all covered with these sores, but Lord Chaitanya would come there every morning to see them, he'd bring prasadam for them, Jagannath prasadam, and he would make a point of embracing Sanatan Goswami. So Sanatana Goswami felt very guilty about this. He thought all these fluids, all this poison coming from my body, can, my body is so diseased and contaminated and it's being, and Lord Chaitanya is touching my body, it's not good. So Sanatana Goswami was thinking that at the time of Rathiyatra he will commit suicide, he will throw himself under the wheels of Lord Jagannath's chariot. But Lord Chaitanya is omniscient, he could understand the mind of Sanatan and he told him, he said, Sanatan, nobody gets liberation by committing suicide. And then Lord Chaitanya went on to instruct him that the body of the devotee is not material. So here is the verse, the evidence that, to support this statement. Diksha Kali means at the time of initiation, because at the time of initiation, the devotee surrenders himself. He gives up all material considerations to take up devotional service. 
তার সমস্ত কিছু পরিত্যাগ করে তিনি সম্পূর্ণভাবে শরণাগত হন নিজেকে সমর্পণ করেন দীক্ষা কালী আত্মা কালি আত্মা সামার পানা সরেন্ডারিং হিমসেলফ টু দ্য সার্ভিস অফ লর্ড কৃষ্ণ হি ইজ ফিনিশড উইথ হিজ মেটেরিয়াল ডিউটিস আর যেহেতু দীক্ষা কালের ভক্তরা আত্মসমর্পণ তিনি যেহেতু কৃষ্ণের কাছে নিজেকে সম্পূর্ণরূপে সমর্পণ করেন তাই তার এই জড় জগৎ কোনো কর্তব্য আর থাকে না when we take initiation in krishna consciousness prabhupad would sometimes say hey, we are declaring war on maya Right. You no longer have any duties to do in the material world because now you've taken initiation, you're on the path of Krishna consciousness and our duty is to serve Krishna. So then the verse goes on say kaile krishna tare kare atma sama atma sa let our the body of the devotee becomes as good as the body of lord krishna Krishna's body is such at ananda vigraha full of eternity bliss and knowledge And the devotee's body also becomes such an ananda vigraha by taking full shelter of Krishna and taking initiation. In the, the, in the Bhagavad Gita a similar point is made in the verse of the 14th chapter. Lord Krishna is describing the process of how the living entity gets liberation from the modes of material nature. Mamchayo vaya bicharena bhakti yogena sevate sagunam samati chagam brahma bhuyaya kalpate that one who engages in the lord's service without falling down then he comes to the level of brahman the level of brahman means the spiritual platform the devotee comes to the level of brahman because krishna is the supreme brahman If we are going to do service for Krishna, we have to come to the level of Brahman. And the process of coming to that level of Brahman begins with the initiation and surrendering. Just like one man may be given the opportunity to serve the king but he doesn't immediately get the opportunity to serve the king he has to be qualified to serve the king so he would get training preliminary training he will serve some lower people less important people and they will train him and gradually gradually becomes more qualified tai take prothomoto prashikkhan dewa hoy jara kom joggyota sampanno byaktir tottabodhane rekhe tabore she dhire dhire unnato seva korar jonne tokhon joggyo hoy so here in this particular case lord chaitanya is instru- instructing sanatana goswami so sanatana goswami when he t- when he actually took initiation and surrendered to the service of the lord he made very careful preparation to eibhabe sanatan goswami ke prabhu chaitanya aprabhu shikha dicchen je kibhabe jokhon tini dikkhar samoy eibhabe nijeke samarpon koren tokhon tar ki uttobbo right he divided all of his wealth he gave half of his wealth to the 
Vaishnavas and Brahmins and 25% for family members and he kept a little for his own emergency. Oh, that's Rupa Goswami, right? Oh, Rupa Goswami. Yeah, Rupa Goswami did that. So, uh, Rupa and Sanatan, they were both preparing for taking up Krishna consciousness. They hired Brahmanas to come and recite Srimad Bhagavatam to them. And they did some yagyas to purify, to help to purify them. And they made arrangements for all their relatives and family members. So they could go and they could take shelter of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and they just left everything behind, finished. So they had come, come to the level of that, they had come to that spiritual platform, they have no longer material duties. On the material platform, then there's so many different duties, Vedic rituals, different things to be done. But if one has developed a taste for Shravanam, Kirtan, Vishnu, for hearing and chanting the glories of Vishnu, one is a strong thing, then he's finished with all of these other duties. Just like I remember uh, His Holiness Bhakti Swarup Damodar Mara. He was not a sannyasi at this time, he was still a brahmachari. Swarup Damodar, he was initially, he was a scientist, he did his PhD there in California and he met Prabhupada and he was, you know, every morning he was going a morning walk with Prabhupada. <laughs> So Swarup Damodar was from Manipur. He was a Manipuri Vaishnava. The, you know, Manipur used to be a Vaishnava kingdom. Naratam Das Thakur had gone there and preached there. And a lot of Vaishnava culture there. So Swarup Damodar's father left the body and he was thinking, oh, I have to go back, I should go back and help with the last rites and do the final, do, offer the prayers and everything, go, maybe I have to go to Gaya and I can work, do Shraddha for him. And do, but Prabhupada said, no, 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 you don't have, you're already finished with all that. already <laughs> Because one who surrendered to Krishna, one who has taken shelter of Krishna, he is freed from all of these different duties. So this is Prabhupada in the purple, he is quoting this verse about at the time of initiation, how one's body actually becomes spiritual. So we but we have to have we have to have that mood of fully surrendering to the service of Krishna. Kintu amader ei Krishna sevai sei prakar monobhav sampurna atma samarpaner monobhav ta sob samoy bojay rakhte hobe. So we we'll read more of the purport here. It says diksha or spiritual initiation is explained in the Bhakti Sandarbha by Srila Jiva Goswami. Diryam Gyanam Yato Dadya Kuryad Papashya Sangshayam 
Tasmad Dikshiti Saprati Dikshikas Tadvakar Kovida. By Diksha, one gradually becomes disinterested in material enjoyment and gradually becomes interested in spiritual life. So, Bhakti Sandarbhe, Srila Jiva Goswami, Ebhabe Dikkar Bisha Bhakka Karachan, Dibba Gyanam Jato Kuriyat, Dada Papasya Sankshayam, Tasma Dikshe Tisha Prapta, Desikois Tatta Kovidohi, Dikkha Grahanet Par, Kramasa Jado Bhage Virakti, O Paramartha Jibane Asakti, O Ruchi Utpanna Hai. We have seen many practical examples of this, especially in Europe and America. Many students who come to us from rich and respectable families quickly lose all interest in material enjoyment and become very eager to enter into spiritual life. Although they come from very wealthy families, many of them accept living conditions that are not very comfortable. Indeed, for Krishna's sake, they are prepared to accept any living condition as long as they can live in the temple and associate with the Vaishnavas. When one becomes so disinterested in material enjoyment, he becomes fit for initiation by the spiritual master. For the advancement of spiritual life, Srimad Bhagavatam prescribes Tapasya brahmacharyena samena cha damena cha. When a person, when a person is serious about accepting diksha, he must be prepared to practice austerity, celibacy, control of the mind and body. If one is so prepared and is desirous of receiving spiritual enlightenment, divyam jnanam. He is fit for being initiated. Divyam Jnanam is technically called Tadvigyana or knowledge about the Supreme. Tadvigyanartam Sagurum Eva Bhagachit. When one is interested in the transcendental subject matter of the Absolute Truth, he should be initiated. Such a person should approach a spiritual master in order to take diksha. Srimad Bhagavatam also prescribes Tasmad Gurum Prapadyeta Jigna Su Shreya Uttamam. When one is actually interested in the transcendental science of the Absolute Truth, he should approach a spiritual master. Tatparje Prabhupad Bhajan Vishas Bhave, Europe or America, Esamandamad Jathist Abhikata Haiti. সেখানে অনেক ধনী ও সম্ভ্রান্ত পরিবারের সন্তানেরা কৃষ্ণ ভাবনামৃত আন্দোলনে যোগদান করার পরে কৃষ্ণ ভাবনার অনুশীলন করে ভগময় জীবনে বিরক্ত হয়ে পারমার্থিক জীবন গ্রহণে বিশেষ আগ্রহী হয়ে পড়েছে অতিব ধনীর সন্তান অথচ তারা এখন অতি সাধারণ জীবনযাপন করছে এই জীবনে শারীরিক আরাম বলতে কিছুই নেই বাস্তবিক শুধু শ্রীকৃষ্ণকে সন্তুষ্ট করার জন্য যতদিন বৈষ্ণব সঙ্গে মন্দিরে বসবাস করা যায় ততদিন তারা যে কোনো অবস্থায় জীবনযাপন করতে প্রস্তুত এইভাবে সংসার জীবনে বিরক্তি অনুভূতি হলেই একজন সদ্গুরুর কাছে দীক্ষা লাভের যোগ্যতা অর্জন করে পারমার্থিক জীবনে উন্নতির উপায় ভাগবতে বর্ণনা করা হয়েছে তপসা ব্রহ্মচর্যেন সময় নচ দমে নচ যে ঐকান্তিকভাবে দীক্ষা লাভ করতে চায় তাকে তপস্যা করতে হবে মন ও ইন্দ্রিয় সংযম করে ব্রহ্মচর্য পালন করতে হবে কেউ যদি এইসব সাধন করে দিব্য জ্ঞান লাভ করতে চায় সে তখন দীক্ষা লাভের যোগ্য হয় দিব্য জ্ঞানকে পারমার্থিক ভাষায় তদ্বিজ্ঞান বা পরাবিদ্যা বলে শাস্ত্রে আছে তদ্বিজ্ঞানার্থং সগুরু মেবা অভিগচ্ছেত অর্থাৎ যিনি পরাবিদ্যা লাভে অনুসন্ধিত তার সদ্গুরু স্মরণাপন্ন হয়ে দীক্ষা গ্রহণ করা উচিত কারণ শ্রীমদ ভাগবতে বর্ণিত আছে তস্মাৎ গুরু প্রপদ্যেত জিজ্ঞাসু শ্রেয় উত্তমম অর্থাৎ পরতত্ত্ব বিদ্যায় যথার্থ আগ্রহী ব্যক্তি সদ্গুরুর স্মরণাপন্ন হবেন জীবা গোস্বামী বাকি সান দারবাস 
and he's translated it by saying that one gradually becomes disinterested in material enjoyment and gradually becomes interested in spiritual life. Srila Prabhupada, Srila Jiva Goswami, Bhakti Sandarbha teke udhrit okare chen jay dikha grohan or kramasa jalo bhoge virakti or paramartik jivane asakti evang ruchi utpanna hai. Diksha means initiation and initiation means the beginning. So we have to understand that when we take initiation, it may not happen immediately. It's going to take some time. So Dikha Maneoche Guru Astray Grohan Kore Seta Sobematra Suchona. Taro Taino Aja Suruti Sabkichoejabe. Sejana Amadake Dorjo Dore Eta Kortehabe. But the effect of initiation, that if, it's, if the initiation is actually taking effect, the sign will be that we lose our interest in material enjoyment and we become more interested in spiritual life. Our dikhar fall hoche, je se jokon ei bhabe paramartik jivane nije ke niyojito korbe, tokhon sawai gabe dekha jabe je se bhogomai jivane virakta hoye. Paramartik jivane vishesh bhabe agroye hoye porchi. So. Uh, Prabhupada describes how in uh, the Krishna consciousness movement people come from many different backgrounds and they accept, you know, in Prabhupada's time, of course, we were all, devotees were generally all living in the ashram. They came and they would live in the temple. So, Srila Prabhupada can only question that Vivinno Bhaktara, Tadar Vivinno Prakar Parivar Samaj Thakesece, and Prabhupada Samaj Kale. And at least in Srila Prabhupada's time, the conditions in the temple were not very comfortable. Temples would often would be very crowded, some temples, and you know, generally our devotees lived in a very simple manner. Srila Prabhupada Samaya Sri Mandir Eto Satchandava Eto Bhavasthapana Chilo Na Onik Mandir Onik Bheer Chilo Tabaru Tara Je Vishram Kortin Je Khanese Khanese 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 Vishram Kortin Most of the devotees were all young and they were quite renounced so they would everybody everybody it was customary just sleep on the floor and take bath only cold water even in the winter time আর সেই সময় বেশিরভাগ ভক্তরাই ছিল অত্যন্ত যুবক এবং তারা সমস্ত কষ্ট তপস্যা স্বীকার করতে প্রস্তুত ছিল অনেক সময় তারা মেঝেতে ঘুমাত এবং শীতকালও এমন কি ঠান্ডা জলে স্নান করত and all over time trying to distribute purpose books working hard going into the public places trying to distribute krishna consciousness এবং তারা ছিল প্রভুপাদের গ্রন্থ বিতরণ করত এবং বিভিন্ন সভায় বিভিন্ন জায়গায় যেতে হতো এবং কঠোর পরিশ্রম করতে তারা এই কৃষ্ণ ভাবন অমৃত প্রচার প্রসারের জন্য সো প্রভুপদ when prabhupad saw that a devotee was willing to accept these difficulties and live simply and work hard in krishna's service then he considered them good good candidates for initiation আর যখন ছিল প্রভুপদ দেখতেন যে এই সমস্ত ভক্তরা কৃষ্ণের জন্য অনেক কঠোর তপস্যা করছে এবং তারা এত সত্য আছে তখন তিনি তাদেরকে নির্বাচন করতেন দীক্ষার জন্য ভাগবত থেকে উদ্ধৃতি দিয়েছেন যে ওইখান থেকে অধিক তপস্যা করতে হবে মন ইন্দ্রিয় সংযম করতে হবে ব্রহ্মচর্য পালন করতে হবে আর এই সব সাধন অনুশীলন করতে হবে কৃষ্ণ ভবন অমৃতে এই বিষয়গুলো হচ্ছে স্বাভাবিক আর এগুলো ভক্তদেরকে অনুশীলন করতে স্বাভাবিক 
फलश्रुति दिव्य ज्ञान अर्थात तक से दिव्य ज्ञान लाभ कर Transcendental knowledge given it, it's not given just only one time, but it, you know it go, goes on for some time. You would. The Bhagavad Gita is one word. The Bhagavad Gita is a prohab. Chalte thake. And also, effect of initiation is to destroy sinful reactions. Our dikhara rekta follows. Che, obviously, samasto pap bolo sab naas hoye jaye. So a person who actually wants to progress in spiritual life is very important for them to accept initiation. ताई जे भक्तो पारमार्थिक जीवने उन्नति लाभ करते जाए ताके उस दिक्कत ग्रहण करते हैं। We see Lord Chaitanya accepted initiation. अमरा देखी एमोन की चौथों नमः प्रभु दिक्कत ग्रहण करे चलें। And of oh, Lord Nityananda, he was also initiated. आर नित्यानंद प्रभु तीनों दिखा ग्रहण कर चले। And Lord Krishna also he had initiation. एमोन की भगवान कृष्णो और जन्तु तीनी दिखा नहीं चले। And Lord Krishna also went to the ashram of the Guru and got education. भगवान कृष्णो तीनी गुरु कुले श्रम में सेकने गिए तीनी शिक्षा ग्रहण कर जन्ने चले। Lord Krishna doesn't need to, but he wants to show the example for everyone else. Oh, when Krishna is going to give prayer, then only when the Jagat is in front of the eyes of the Lord, then he will do it. So, it's important that anybody who is actually seriously interested in spiritual knowledge and making advancement in the spiritual path, they have to approach a spiritual teacher. That is the case. That is the case. एम जत्न कर जत्न सहकार पारमार्थिक जीवन लाभ सचेष्ट अवश्य सदगुरु शरणापन्न ही दीक्षा ग्रहण कर सो मेनि रेफरेंसिस आर हियर फ्रम द स्क्रिप्चर्स अबाउट दिस फ्रम श्रीमद भागवता तस्मद गुरु प्रपज्जिता जिज्ञा सुश्रेय उत्तम एखे विभिन्न शास्त्र के अनेक दृष्टान देवा जे रम श्रीमद भागवते तस्मद गुरु प्रपज्जित जिज्ञा सुश्रेय उत्तम मीन Devotee is going to surrender, and he wants to inquire about the highest knowledge. Tai, ei parotatto vidya agrohi bhakti tini sadguru sarana panna. He wants to understand the absolute truth. He wants to solve the problems of life. Ab tini ei param sattva ko bujhte varvan tar pare jibaner samastho samasar samadhan hai jab. The problem of life is not economic. It's not health. The problems of life are birth and death. तो जीवनेर समस्या टा अर्थनैतिक समस्या ना है। जीवनेर प्रकृति समस्या जी जन्मो मृत्यु। We want to get out of this wheel of birth and death, and it's only by the help of the spiritual teachers that we can get out. ते आमदेरे जन्मो मृत्यु चक्र ते के बेरते हवे एवं सेटा एक मात्रो जिनी आमदेर के गुरुदेव तिनी स्वाहा तो कुत्ते पर की भावे आम्रे ये चक्र ते के बेरो So sometimes people say, "Well, I'm following. I'm doing everything. I follow the principles. I chant 16 rounds. Why I need initiation?" So, people are often saying, "Well, that guy, oh, I'm into so much to niyam karan manchi. I'm into solo mala job karchi. Ta amara vad dikha na var ki door kar." And in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, there's even a verse there in the Madhya Lila where it says, "You don't need initiation to chant Hare Krishna." चौथन चौथन मुर्दे मध्यली लायक में बोला है जी जो मर दिखने वार प्रयोजन नहीं ना कर लो। So there's a five-page purport there by Sri Lal Prabhupada, and he quotes different statements by the different acharyas, and he points out very clearly that actually you do need initiation. आर तार पर शक्ने पांच पतार तात पर जब प्रभुपाद विभिन्न आचार्य जोधर दृष्टांत स्थापन करे देखिए चेन जे अवश्य ही तुम्हारे दिखने वार प्रयोजन आ ची Because we're not just going to chant Hare Krishna, we have to do more than just chant Hare Krishna. Yeah, amra sudhu matro Hare Krishna job karat jinne noy. Ei Hare Krishna job karat theko aro odhik kijo seva korte hobe. Yeah, Hari Das Thakur, he could just sit and chant Hare Krishna all day, 
We cannot imitate Haridas Thakur. Ekmatro sarbo samayar jino Haridas Thakur tini job korte na. Amra Haridas Thakur ke onu koron korte pari na. So there is two kinds of devotees. There is the Bhajananandi and the Gostavanandi. The Bhajananandi he just sits and chants Hare Krishna all day. तो दो ही प्रकार के भक्तों रह जाते हैं जो भजन आनंदी और एक तरह से गोष्ठ आनंदी यार भजन आनंदी तारा उन्नो को निकृष्ण ना करे सारा दिन और कृष्ण हम जब तो तो भजन आनंदी ही डेसन हैव अ ब्राह्मण थ्रेड यू सी द भजन आनंदी पर्सन जस्ट डूइंग भजनों दे 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 नॉट इनिशिएट दे नॉट चैंट द गायत्री म धारणे दर कारण ना करना तारा सुधु मतलब बॉस पे आर सारा दिन भजन करो। क्योंकि बच्चे ना ना दे, he is only concerned about his own self, he is not preaching to others। भजन ना ना दे केवल मतलब निजे के मुक्त को राज्य ने व्यस्त थी नहीं उन्नो दर मध्य प्रचार करेना। But for one who is preaching, going out to preach to people, then it's important that they should have that sacred thread. Then people recognize that oh, he's he's a brahmana who has got the sacred thread. He's chanting Gayatri mantra. तो जोखन के वो प्रचार जब एन तार्जने इस समस्त दिखा बानु संगी विषय गुले प्रयोजन है तार पवित्र पौहिता आचे ब्राह्मण तोखन उन्नो लोकेरा ताके ग्रहण कर बे ताके सम्मान कर बे तोखन तार पक्के प्रचार करा टा सुविधा। So Sri Lakshmi Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada did like that that he wanted that all the devotees even the not born in Brahmana family but because they're Vaishnavas he wants them to he wants to show people that these people actually they're more than Brahmana. तो चलो भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस सत्य कुर ये प्रताप करें जाने जो दियो अनेक भक्तों रा तारा ब्राह्मण परिवार जन्मों दौरान करें नहीं किंतु भक्ति सिद्धांत तो फिर दिल देखें तो इसलिए जो इरा बोझ ना हो ये ब्राह्मण अत्यंत उर्द है। So he would give the sacred thread to the all the 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 initiated devotee। आर जरा दिक्कत भक्तों तादर के तीन ये पवित्रो पौहिता � Devotional service, then they were Vaishnavas, and he, they were worthy of having the sacred thread. Eta kono ve parane tar kotha theke jese ba kotha jalmo gran kori jen. Tarar jawan ei Krishna bhav nae samastu kijo samarpan kori jen. Tokhon tarar mane kunno to tai tadar ke tini ei prokare nirbachan kori jen. But one is well, the Brahmana, he can just be on the material platform. You got so many Brahmanas, they're just on the material platform. They do some ritualistic activities, karma kandi activities. They don't know anything about spiritual life. So, Brahman is a good story. So, when you see Brahman, you can see that there are many things that you can see. But, you can see that Brahman is a good story. They are only interested in just maintaining their family, or they maintain their business. So, you can see that there are many things that you can see in your family, and you can see that there are many things. So, when Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada First started his preaching, there was opposition because he was giving the sacred thread to people who are not Brahman. Jokhon silo bhakti siddhanta sarvatra gur prachar shuru kare chilen, tokhon tar onke virudhe virudha choran korte shuru kare je wo era Brahman kule janmukran kare niya tadar ke ekam poita deva hai je. But there were many people, great devotees who were not Brahmana, just like uh, Raghunath Das Goswami, he was an Abrahma from the Brahmana family. किंतु शेखर ने अनेक महान भक्तों आज जा रहा है रकम ब्राह्मण परिवार चलना जरूर रोगन आदास को समिति ने ब्राह्मण परिवार चलना। But he was very very great devotee। तीन ही चलना अनेक अनेक महान भक्तों। And another great devotee there was a Shamananda Pandit he was his disciple named Rasikananda. Rasikananda was not from a Brahmana family but he was a very powerful spiritual teacher and he initiated many Brahmins. और सेमानंद प्रभु जिन्हें तार सिस्टर चिन्ह रोशिकानंदो तो जो दिवस तीनी ब्राह्मण परिवार जन्म ग्रहण करती ने उत्तम तो सबसे चली तीनों अनेक के ब्राह्मण दिखा है दिखी तो बड़े चले। वे सी रामनंद राय वो सच एन एलिवेटेड डिवोटी दैट ही कुड टॉक ऑन द मोस्ट एलिवेटेड टॉपिक्स विद लॉर्ड चेतन्य महाप्रभु बट � जो इतने महाप्रभु संग आसादन कर चलने से रामानंद राय तीनों ब्राह्मण परिवार जन्म ग्रहण करेंगे। So the spiritual teacher doesn't have to be a brahmana by birth, and he doesn't even have to be a sannyasi। ये गुरुदेव ताके इरकम ना है जब ब्राह्मण कुले जन्म ग्रहण करते हैं, ब्राह्मण की सन्यासी हो जाए तब तारों को। 
Lord Chaitanya said, Kiba Vipra, Kiba Nasi, Sudra Kini Nai, Ye Krishna Tadvavet, Se Guru Hoy. If you know the science of Krishna, then you can become the spiritual teacher. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Balachan, Kiba Vipra, Kiba Nasi, Sudra Kini Nai, Ye Krishna Tadvavet, Se Guru Hoy. Lord Chaitanya gave the order, everyone should become spiritual teacher. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Adesh Pradhan Kurachan, when he was in Kurmakshetra, he told the, the Brahman in Kurmadesh, Kiba Vipra Kiba Nasi Sudra Kini Nai Ye Krishna Tadvavad Se Guru Hai. That wherever you go, whoever you meet, tell them about Krishna, and this way you become a spiritual master, save the land. And some people say, well, you can be the Vartma Prad Pradakasha Guru or the Shiksha Guru, but you can't do Diksha. You have to be a Sanyasi or you have to be a Brahman, born in a Brahman to give Diksha. But Lord Chaitanya said, no, any, any Guru can. Guru Hatevare, Seer, Uno Brahmon, Ahole, Basunasina Hole, Sekikura di Kadiva, Sedika di Parvana. And in the Hari Bhakti Vilas, it says that uh, if you're going to take, an, if you're from a Brahmana family and you're going to take initiation, then it's better you take initiation from a Brahmana guru, from a guru who's born in a Brahmana family. So, Hari Bhakti Vilas in a Kulakaj. So that's only, that verse is only there in Hari Bhakti Vilas. That's for people who have mundane consideration, who are still in the bodily platform. But if they actually understand the transcendental nature of Krishna consciousness, they know that this birth in the Brahmana family is not important criteria. So, initiation is required. And everybody has free will who, to, who they take initiation from. Okay. Is there some questions? Only one? What's the question? The question is obeisances is to Guru Maharaj. As new devotees, we have many uh, qualities which are impure. So this time, should we avoid associations which is also not pure? And we should only find the better association. Okay, so someone is saying that we have many qualities, many impurities in our character. So at this time, should we, is it all right to associate with other people who are not pure? Or should we only associate with people with pure, with good character? So, Arjun Balchen, Ye Tar, Choritrugotone, Dosaja, Oneko Sudhota, Charache, or the Puripurna Sudhonoi. So the question is, are you going to take association from these people with a bad character or are you going to give them association? Are you going to just sit and hear from them? You know they've got bad qualities. Are, are you going to let them sit and tell you and instruct you? Or are you going to preach to them? We, we may not be very pure ourselves, but if we're preaching to others, if we're preach, then we, we repeat what we've heard. What we have heard from our spiritual teachers, we repeat that and we try to give that knowledge to them. Yeah, because we have 
But if you're just going to sit and have mundane association with somebody who's got bad character, then that's a waste of time. A devotee shouldn't waste their time in mundane association, talking nonsense. Prajapa is very bad for the devotee. So, Bhaktara Kakana Irakam Jolajagati, Lok Jacharitra Kharap, Irakam Tadar Sangha Prajalpa Kare, Nija Samay Nashtra Karvena, Ibhava Samay Nashtra Kare Kano Bhavi Thikna. Yeah, you meet people, you have friends, and you sit and talk with them, and you talk nothing about Krishna Consciousness. You just simply talk about mundane things, social life and family life, and you talk about the, this virus, and you talk about all the nonsense, gossip, so the, the, this kind of prajapa is very dangerous for our spiritual life. We have to have some good katha, Krishna katha. You have to hear from the Shastra, you have to hear from the devotees who are speaking according to sadhu, Shastra and Guru. So don't waste your time in mundane association. Time is very valuable. Janakya Pandit said, one moment lost can never be bought back. And if you just simply associate mundane talking, prajapa talking, material gossip, mundane things, then this is just useless. You're very far away from Krishna consciousness, even though you may be in the holy dham. We come to the holy dam to advance in Krishna consciousness. But if we associate with mundane people and mundane ways, then we won't get any benefit. When we are preaching Krishna Consciousness to others, what should we talk about? What's the proper topic? You have to consider what is the situation of the other person? How much do they know? What, what is the reason for coming to associate? <coughs> Just like in Bhagavad Gita, we know there are four kinds of people who surrender to Krishna. Chaturvida Bijantimam Jnana Sukriti no Arjuna Arto Jignasur Artarti Jnani Cha Bharatar Shabha. Four kinds of people, all pious people, one comes in distress. One comes in search of knowledge, one comes out of curiosity, one comes in search of wealth. So they come for different reasons. You have to somehow try to relate to them and make some friendship with them and give them some interest in Krishna consciousness. You want to introduce them to the Maha Mantra and teach them how to chant. That's the real beginning of Krishna consciousness when we instruct people in the holy name. Show them how to hold the beads and how to chant the mantra, teach them the mantra. And you try to explain some basic 
parts of the Krishna conscious philosophy, for example, that we're not the body. Our Krishna Bhavana Mrityaji Prathamik Darshan Se Samparke Kichu Dharana Deva Jita Parajira Kama Amra Boli Amra Deho Noi we want to try to bring them to a higher platform of awareness to understand the soul. We should also talk to them about the importance of diet, that vegetarian diet is much better. Niramis Aharta Padaguru Tupurno Sevisoe Janano. We know in China people are generally not so much aware of the value of the vegetarian diet. Amajani China te Kuntara e Niramis Kavar Prati Ekavari of Bostonoi. So you want to talk about these kind of things which you have to see what they're interested in, no? It's also very good to get people to do some service because uh, not everybody is interested in philosophy. But generally, there are a lot of lonely people. People are looking for some company. So if you can make friends with someone and give them some friendship and they develop a trust in you and a liking for you and if you can give them some engagement in Krishna consciousness then that's very good. Yeah, you can show them how to cook, you can show them how to cut the vegetable, you can show them how to clean the temple or how to make the ghee wakes or how to make a flower garland. There's, there's always a lot of service to be done. You're having, if you're having some meeting or you're just making friends with people in a home, in your home, there's always things to be done. Get them to help you. But if you're just talking to them online, they're not physically with you. Maybe nowadays at this time a lot of preaching is done on the internet. So maybe there are some, you know, you're not actually with them physically. But you can speak to them about, you know, you can still tell them about the chanting and you can suggest to them certain things they can do to improve their spiritual consciousness. You can tell them how we have lectures and they can listen every day. There's classes going on on the internet every morning, every evening, so many people speaking. They can join in and they can hear the classes. And sometimes there's also kirtan, they can also join in the kirtan on the on the internet. So the idea is somehow make a friendship with that person that they that they get a liking and they trust you and they develop some faith and some interest in what you're doing. Krishna consciousness is in everyone. They just need to be given a chance to hear. So you we are looking for those people who are willing to hear.
they're more advanced, more superior than the devotees who are staying at home or simply worshiping the deities in the temple. Is this a kind of biased opinion or maybe not perfect opinion? So the question is, a devotee said, sometimes people think if somebody is uh, giving a lecture or if he is a uh, book, dis book distributor, then he must be more advanced than the other devotees who are just at home or who are doing the puja in the temple. So, the question is, on a lecture, the lecture, the no, we cannot judge people's spiritual advancement just by their activity. We have to, we have to, the internal consciousness is more important than the activity. The person who's cleaning the temple, who's washing the temple every day, he may be the most advanced, the most pure-hearted soul. And the one who is giving the class, he may be thinking, I'm so great, I'm so knowledgeable, everybody wants to hear me. So he may be full of pride and arrogance. This is not a devotee qualification. Mm -hmm. Devotee should be humble, offer all respects to others. So we cannot judge the advancement of a person just simply by the activities they're doing. What is important is the attitude in which they do the service. Prabhupada was saying that Okay, somebody is asking if, they, if they're not in good health and they're not able to, ch to speak and chant, so can they just simply meditate on the mantra in their mind? That is not a very easy thing to do because the mind is very restless, very hard to focus. If you're not able to chant yourself, then you have to get Prabhupada's recording of the chanting and you listen to Prabhupada chanting. And as Prabhupada chants one mantra in your mind, then you focus on that mantra you, or you move your tongue a little bit in your mouth, although you're not able to open and speak, but you try to vibrate in your throat and you count on your beads and move as Prabhupada chants. So, Sejano Prabhupada Erje record a job, Seta Suntehabe, Evang Tarpura Apni Chastakura Mone Seta Kaunuranan Kora, Evang Evabe Malajaputa Jodi Apni Akavari Samartana. Don't just try to chant only in your mind. Our Sudumatro Mone Mone Job Kurva, Erekum Pratamikavasta Samomna. She sent me a Facebook message this morning before four o'clock. I was chanting Japa in, in my ashram and there was a Facebook message came on my handphone. I heard, I thought, who's sending me a message at this time, you know? 
And I saw Sitala, later on I saw Sitala from Facebook sent a message. Oh, to eta khub bhalo je oi Sitala Mataji tini chapter purbei Maharajer kache erom tar Facebook message e sob pathiyechilen aur chinta korchen je she kotha rekheche she. Five hours she finished 16 rounds 3 minutes after 5. Oh, very good. Khub bhalo. He is doing good chanting. So there's no question. It's a comment. Mane bolchen je onek bhoktora tara e rokom paramarthik jibon ebong jolo jagotik jibone onek prokarer sangharsho korche. Kintu tar pore sei sangram theke tara jokhon sompurno rupe shoronagoto hobe tokhon tar ei jolo jagotik store keno duty thakbe na eta shune khamko onupranito hoye. Yeah, many devotees are not able to give up all their material responsibilities. They have families and they have jobs and so on and they need to maintain that job they're not ready to get a pension from the government they're not able to retire from all their material duties it's not like here in india bishesh kore ei rokom je bharote onek poribare ache jara sahosha sob kichu jole jodi chakri kaj eigulo chhede dite pare na keno na she tar poribarer proti ekta dai daitto ache ar tar pore jodi chakri ta sompurno na kore tahole she pension pabe na shomoy moto But at least within our mind, we can think that it would be very nice to surrender fully to Krishna. In our mind, we think that we just want to be happy with the Lord, but our Krishna is the pure Lord. And within your mind, you can be surrendered. You can be thinking that I'm doing this. I'm doing my job here. I, it's, I'm doing it for Krishna. So, mind, if we think that we are doing this, we are doing this work. This work we are doing, we are doing it for Krishna. We are doing it for Krishna. We are doing it for Krishna. My family are also part and parcel of Krishna, and I have to help them and encourage them in Krishna consciousness. We are all part of Krishna. We are doing it for 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 Krishna. So, in time, in time, gradually, you know, you get older, you can retire. you be free from all these responsibilities ar dhire dhire apni boye prapto hoben obosor grahan korben tokhon ei dai daitto theke sompurno obbhati pe ebhabe sapna hoto so you just have to be patient ar she jene dhorjo dhore thakte hobe patient is one of the qualities necessary for advancing in krishna consciousness dai krishna bhavnay agrogati labar jene dhorjo dharan kora ta ekta guruttopurno ongo so just In, in time krishna will arrange everything for you ar samaye krishna apnar jene somosto prakar byabostha korbe you just have to keep krishna in your heart and go on with your duties ar sei jeno sob samaye krishna ke hridaye dharan kore ar nijer jabotiyo kartobbo kora just like when raghunath first came to lord chaitanya he wanted to surrender and lord chaitanya told him Don't act like a madman. Go home and be behave normally and keep Krishna in your heart. Jebhabe jokhon Raghunath Das Swami Chaitanya Mahaprabhu nikot prothom esechilen tokhon bolche na na tumi ei rokom ekhoni batul hao na tumi grihe phire jao ebong antore nishtha kore bajje tomar lok byabohar ebong duty koro tomake Krishna ekdin grahan korben. Yeah. If you were to prematurely try to renounce everything then you just get problem. যদি অপরিণত অবস্থায় কেউ সবকিছু করার চেষ্টা করে তাহলে সেটা সমস্যার কারণ হবে সো জাস্ট বি পেশেন্ট সো ইউ ধৈর্য ধর এন্ড কন্টিনিউ বি এ গুড ডিভোটি আর ভালো ভক্ত হওয়ার নিরবচ্ছিন্ন প্রয়াস করে ওকে সো উই আর গোইং টু স্টপ নাও উই হ্যাভ টু স্টপ ওকে শ্রীল প্রভাত কি জয় নেকটার অফ ইনস্ট্রাকশন কি জয় গড প্রেমানন্দ হরি হরি বল